After completing an MBA degree at INSEAD in 2004, Rupak Saluja moved to Bombay to set up Bang Bang Films. He joins us today on INSEAD Knowledge to tell us more about his startup venture. Welcome to INSEAD Knowledge. What are you doing different with Bang Bang Films? Uh, we started off Bang Bang in 2006. I had three other co-founders at the time and we set up the company with the aim of pushing the internationalization of Indian media and entertainment in whatever space that we were going to play in. Um, we were all from advertising backgrounds in different um, parts of it actually and so we decided that commercials production was the way to go and then post INSEAD I decided to come back to India I never worked in India and I decided to come to India to set up something in the media and entertainment space broadly speaking without a specific business plan. Uh, so in the commercial space there were, um, there were two things that were going on at the time that allowed us to differentiate. One was that Asia-Pacific is a very heavily cross-pollinated region when it comes to commercials production. Um, and the way that uh, some of the viewers may not be familiar with it is that advertising agencies have account-based relationships with advertisers, but production companies have to bid for each and every project. So when you have, say, for example, an Ogilvy Singapore putting a job out to bid, they would be talking to companies in Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Australia. No one was talking to an Indian company. And the converse was true as well, which was that Indian companies weren't talking to, um, uh, Indian agencies weren't talking to production companies or directors from outside of India. And that was largely due to the large domestic market syndrome. Uh, the other thing that was happening was that the Indian industry was very, uh, was predominantly um, sort of, uh, flooded by uh, director-centric production companies and it still is the case largely speaking so you had uh, a director and some underlings which that which meant there that uh, directors um, you see filmmakers are best left making films and but what they were doing here was not only were they doing the creative side they were also taking the business decisions so what that created was a situation in the market where you actually had uh, less professionalism, less transparency, less accountability than should actually have been there in the market. We came in, we said we're going to build a brand and you agency and you client, you're going to buy into this brand and we're going to deliver a certain quality to you at any price point depending on whatever is desired. That's one. And the other thing was that we decided that we were going to bring in international talent. And so we offered a panel of directors from all over the world and uh, that uh, was quite new in this market. The other and more interesting thing I'd say where the greater innovation took place is that we realized that based on the whole premise that the consumer engagement model was changing um, and uh, there was going to be a demand for other kinds of content for brands and since we were already producing the flagship content for the brands which is the TV commercial uh, we wanted to be in a place where we could provide the other content as well. We created a separate brand called Jack in the Box and that coexists with Bang Bang. So together, Bang Bang Films and Jack in the Box, we call ourselves a thinking and doing company that produces content for brands across multiple platforms and geographies. You talk about the internationalization of Indian media. What do you mean by that? Well, it's, uh, it's really quite a, a broad term. Uh, what that means is that there's a, an Indian media presence on the international scene, um, not just for the Indian diaspora, that means at a global level, in one form or another, uh, you have an Indian entity which exists. I mean, we call ourselves, Bang Bang Films is called India's International Production Company, and uh, we pride ourselves in being an international company. Currently, 25% of our revenues come from outside of India, and that number will um, more than double to about 60% by the end of this calendar year. And that will be uh, given a lot of impetus by the establishment of our Singapore office in June. And um, I think, you know, also that goes into everything that we do. You know, we can't hope to be an international company if we're just a bunch of Indians sitting in an office in Bandra. So we have, um, there's actually, we have people from all over the world really working with us. Not a large number, but out of the 90 people, I'd say there are about um, eight, maybe. Uh, but that number will obviously go up as we grow larger. What are your future plans for Bang Bang Films and Jack in the Box? I think the future of the business is largely dependent on the blurring of the lines between communications and entertainment. And my bet is that those lines will blur to the point that even we as producers of content are not going to know what we're producing, communications or entertainment. And frankly, it won't matter. Okay? So um, what that means is you have, a, you have something called branded entertainment, which 
uh, started off as branded content. Now everyone calls it branded entertainment. But the most shining example of that till date has been uh, in 2001 with the BMW short films uh, done in the US with directors like Guy Ritchie, Wong Kar Wai, and Ang Lee, et cetera, where the car was actually at the center of these 10 minute stories. Uh, but they were amazing pieces of compelling content that you wanted to watch. And at the end of it, it left you with a reinforcement of the positioning that the BMW really is the ultimate driving machine. What we need to bring into the company is a culture, people, workflow, systems, processes of taking a kernel of an idea onto the end format, right? And that we're doing in a business unit called Bang Bang Entertainment, which is launching uh, in July this year. And so what will happen is currently everything which is a TV commercial is Bang Bang Films. Anything which is not a TV commercial is Jack in the Box. What this is going to evolve into being is that um, Bang Bang Films will become the ad agency facing side of the business. You'll have Jack in the Box becoming the brand facing side of the business because we are 90% uh, of the work we do over there is direct to client already. And Bang Bang Entertainment is where we will create our own IP and our own content. Um, and you'll have cross-functional teams between BBE and JITB, uh, which will create this branded entertainment. In the middle, you'll have production resources. So that's communications and entertainment. And then the third pillar is media. And uh, so currently, everything, uh, you see, social media lies at the backbone of everything that we do in Jack in the Box. And we, have, we compete with social media agencies for business all the time, but we're not a social media agency. Uh, we look at everything through the lens of content. But social media is quite limiting as a distribution platform if it's the only one. So we decided that we're going to get into the business of creating our own media platforms. Uh, we have a project in incubation with six people working on it right now, which we'll be launching at the end of May, um, which is uh, an online media platform in the fashion space. Um, and so that will be our first, uh, our initial foray into the media business and very specifically by media because for some people you would say that all of this is media. Very specifically by media I mean uh, creating content which creates a community of people and brands pay you money to reach those people, right? So that's communications, entertainment, media and the last piece, the last pillar of the future of the business is technology. So if you look at um, all the award-winning communication, the cutting-edge communications that has happened over the past few years, um, how you deliver what you deliver is as important as what you deliver. So the technology, the delivery mechanism is really, really important and to innovate in that as well. Rupak, thank you so much for joining us on NCAD Knowledge. Okay.